1,000 foot and over the runway. All right, we're taking on down to 300 feet above the deck. That should cover us on into uh, a landing site. Well, that will eat up a mountain on the way in. Oh, we'll just watch, keep a close look on it. It's been a good flight. It certainly has. Well, I'd like to make about 15 more like this and retire. Fidel would have had a fit if he knew where we were bright and early this morning, wouldn't he? There's a target in sight now. Give him a signal down there on the ground. He's got us. All right. We'll drop her on in. They'll bring back my full pressure about 20. All right, they got us a pretty good spot down there. Let's take her on down. Back a little more manifold pressure. Bring them back to 12. Taking it in there. Easy does it. All right, hold her steady. And here we go. There's a the camper. They're out there waiting on us. Well, there's not much runway. I hope they didn't bring the police for them. Make sure you get all that money. Count it before we unload our junk.
70. 75. Unit 21, cut the airplane off. Jim, there's a patrol car out there. Look out. Rotate it. Rotate it. Got a match? Yeah, man. Maybe we can make something off this load here, man. Get south or something. Can't you see it under palm tree, man? Eating the day. <laughs> now you get it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. It's all a dream. Jesus Christ, dude, here comes the damn police. Are you shitting me? I ain't shitting me, man. There's a bunch of them back here. Are they close? We're just waiting to beat this way up. Get out of here. You realize how much it is we get caught all this damn stuff? Oh, that's what we're going to pay to see, man. Cut him off. He's headed for the state line. Get the gun ready. All right, I got it. Bubble out. Hand me the gun. I wonder how they found out, man. I don't know. Must be a leak somewhere. Just get the gun. Get the gun. Five years. Come, come, come.
312, 321, 322. They just shot at me. Let's get them back. out there in the road. As soon as I get this car cranked, I'll be back at that camper. Damn, what happened? You all right back there, man? Yeah, man, Scott, all right, who? What about the pot? Pot's fine. Where are the police? They still back there, brother? Uh, uh, they, there's a big old pile of drill mess back there for sure. Jesus Christ, who sees you can't find a place to pull off? Yeah. yeah. Hurry up, Boots. They're catching off. I'm telling you, turn off on the next dirt road. Up on the left. There you go. Pull off up there. you going? Turn around and put your hand over here. Damn, I know she's right, staying in that tree. Get him in there. Get up, get in there.
Sheriff, I got you four sweethearts here. That's a list of the charges. There'll be more coming as soon as I can think of them. Okay. Look like you got some bad ones here, Captain. Yeah, they're pretty nice fellas. Open the door, Ed. Come on, fellas. Here's your hand, Smart Ed. All the way back. Your charges is as follows. Number one, violation of Georgia drug abuse. Number two, aggravated assault, two counts. Number three, reckless driving. Number four, carrying concealed weapon. Number five, speeding in excess of 100 miles per hour. Number six, failure to yield to blue lights. Number seven, failed to comply with lawful order of police. Look like you guys got a heck of a lot of problems. Janine, she awake? Yeah. Listen, we just got busted. We're on four down here at Clayton County Jail. What? I need to get a hold of the boss and get somebody down here as quick as you can. Are you all right? Yeah, we just need somebody to get us out of here fast. Okay, right away. I love you. I love you, too. Three one two one. Mr. King, please. I'm sorry, Mr. King's in conference. I have to speak to Mr. King. This is an emergency. All right, if you'll give me your name and number, I'll have him get back with you immediately. This is Denise. My number is three six 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 thousand. Three six 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 thousand. All right, ma'am, I'll have him call you back in just a minute. Mr. King, a woman by the name of Denise has just called. Denise? Yes, sir. She said that it was urgent. Her number is 366-6000. Local? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hello? Denise? Yes, Mr. King. What the hell's so important this time of day? They have all four boys in Clayton County Jail. They've been busted. Did you talk to Deuce personally? Yes, he called a few minutes ago, and he's frantic. Listen, girl, I'll tell you what you do. When I hang up, you get your things and get down to Adam's place, all right? All right. Now, listen. Sue will call you. She'll let you know what to do. When you see the boy, you tell him, sit cool. I want Deuce to keep his mouth shut and tell him I'll handle from this end. Do you understand? Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, Paul. That's right. Listen, I got some problems down in Clayton County. I want you to look after for me. What kind of problem? Now, I got a boy named Douche. I, I believe his name is Robert A. Watson. He's been booked with three others in Clayton County Jail. I want you to get down there and see if you can put him on the street. I need him out, all right? All right. Now, I'll look after you, and you do what you have to do and report back to me as soon as you can. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I smell trouble again. Screw up, screw up, screw up. Sandy, I'm for eliminating our trouble. All right, I agree with you, because we're going to end up in a slam or broke if something isn't done. That's fine. Let's go. Well, trouble again. Sorry to get you out, Joe. We got a problem. I appreciate you fellas coming such short notice. They cut us a bad scene today. Deuce Watson and all the boys and everything's been picked up in Clayton County down the jail. Now, we've got to make some decisions. I had a lawyer go down to see him. His boy can't take any heat. I've got to know from you folks. 
what we're going to do. Now, you know we've got a load coming in three, I think three days from now. And we're going to have to move it. Now, either we're going to have to spring the boys or we're going to have to kill them. Now, what do you think, Sandy? Well, Joe, you know we've already got a hundred big ones in them. And then this here lawyer and uh, springing or letting the hammer down on them or something, it's all going to cost more money. Watching them is good. We need them. Let's get them out. What happened? What happened? We just been through pure hell, and the boss sent some half-ass attorney down here and said we can't get out for two or three weeks. What did he say when you went there and talked to him? He just said be cool and not talk to anybody. Be cool, hell. He ain't the one sitting in here. Ain't he got no plans? No, he thought perhaps you would have some. Hello, Mr. King, this is Denise. I just talked to Douche, and he has a crazy plan on how to break out of the jail. Yes, it concerns a helicopter, and he wants it there tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Right. Hello? Hello, Al. This is Joe King. Hi, Al. I'm fine, Al. How you been? Listen, Al, I got an important piece of work that takes a man and a machine. Are you interested? <laughs> All right, and listen. $50,000 in it for you for a half a day's work. And I want you to be here tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock at my place. And listen, Al, don't bring your machine. We'll get one locally, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. You and Bubba get in the command and meet us over at the boss. I have to get my driver's license. What? Here, Mr. Susan, how about taking these things with you and burn them? Yeah, it was a hell of a joke. 
joyride, too. Joyride my ass. Listen, Joe, there wasn't anything mentioned in our deal about me getting shot at. So we're just going to negotiate us another deal. Negotiate hell. What'd you shoot him for? Where's Joe? I'm taking over this outfit. We got too much liability around here now, and that's one of them down there. Now, I'm going to give you the game plan. Here's the money. You go out to John's garage. He's got an 18-wheeler out there waiting for you. Now, you take the money and get out to John's, and let's see some good action. Now, I don't want to negotiate with you two. You understand? We can understand that. We got you. chance on this load. How's that? He's dumping all of it into an 18-wheeler. Who's crazy enough to haul that much pot in one load? The Watson boys, ooch and deuce. Sandy got him out of jail and he's got the feet to the bar. They haven't got any choice but do what he says. And that's the reason he got them to haul this full load on an 18-wheeler. They're crazy. Well, we're here. Get all the garbage down. Let's set her down.
constable looked into all units. A large 18-wheel truck and trailer has been reported loaded down with pot, headed south from Bear Creek Airport in Clayton County. All units converge on all routes south of this area. Well, that looks like that big red and white 18 wheeler we just got to look at on. Damn sure does. Let's go check him out. 321 to dispatcher. 18 wheeler you got to look out on going down Mount Zion Road south to 81. We're going to pull him over. Need assistance. Thirty-two A clear and responding, intercepting point Noah's Ark and Crane Road. Scratches on it. I don't want any of the windows the broken. House to be just like it is right now. Any of the shingles pulled off. I want it just the same kind of shape as it is sitting here in this spot. All right, sir. It says it is. It you. Well, your money's here. You I got knew, seven thousand. I knew it was. I want it delivered right now. All right, boys. Let's go. Let's get this house to the road.
Them boys have broke this here drive line. And it's hung up over here. You're gonna have to back the truck up now and get it loose. Still back there, will you? It'll be closing in every minute, man. You think you'd give up in a minute, man? Seems like you would. Davis, what's all them sirens? <laughs> Don't go on diesel truck coming down through there. Looks like I let it get away. He's driven this away. Better get away fast. That's the here. You'd be calm after bouncing off every wall in that trailer. And that goes for me, too. I ain't ride with you or Oof no more. This is the house, guys. I ain't leaving this. What about that? No, thanks. You sitting in the road? That's right. There ain't no way I'm riding with you. I know how to drive around houses, not this. Oh, you big pussy. Well, don't you think I'd be easier than driving a truck in the front door and out the back?
Well, I guess I better check in with Sandy. Joe, roll us a couple of joints, man. We'll be with you in a minute. Sandy, dude. Yes, it's the warehouse. It's tore all the hell, but it's there. Low to you. Yeah. How in the hell are you coming up with that? Okay. Can you believe that little sawed off ass wants us to pay him $150,000? How'd he come up with that? He says for that load we lost when we got busted and for the truck we just tore up. Besides that, we only got seven days paying back. Can you imagine? Let's go smoke a joint, man, and talk about it. Shit, I can't believe it. Damn, dude, so we said it was an easy way to pay Sandy back and what we're having to go about it, you know? I do, too. Well, hell, at least, at least we got some good Columbian out of the deal, even though we did screw up on the money end of it. Yeah, not to mention that truck we bought. Oh, up, Lord, man. don't talk about that. I couldn't stand another one of them. Eight forty-five, right there. I wonder where they'll take us to today. I don't know. We'll just have to follow these turkeys. Okay. Have some of that joint. Let's think it looks like a good vacant country type road. Yeah, good, pretty straight. Big red ought to do me JLB on that. Yeah. All we need to do is go down and find a pine tree sky cut down in the morning. Uh -huh. Let's go. Let's hurry up. We need to get on back. Okay.
Yeah, go out there. Wake up, old man. I know, man, I know, man. As I woke up this morning, I looked up into the sky, and I said, Lord, I have two white brothers need to see you. You've got to have faith in the Lord, brothers. Right on, white brothers. Right on, white brothers. Red, there he goes with the same old crap again. For shame, brothers. For shame, brothers. You've got to believe in man. Yeah, I buy that. That same old stuff. Don't forget, brothers, I'm still a minister. Hey, he ain't gonna let us forget that right. he's a minister, is he? What the hell's he trying to do? Sure. What the hell's going on? Dispatch, this is Army Car 124. Started the county police unit, North Bridge, Panhandle Road, then forced off the road by semi tractor trailer. Let's get the money. Come on.
Attention all units. This is the signal 78. Dark blue Camaro has just held up an armed car and it's believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. It's headed north toward Atlanta from the Griffin area. Once again, the men are armed and dangerous. Hell, man, we made 12 drug busts last week alone. I know, man, we're both overworked. You realize I wrote 38 speed and tickets myself yesterday? My God, you see that Camaro? Hell, that's the car we got a lookout on. Let's get him. This car 16 to dispatch. A dark blue Camaro just passed me in car 28. He's headed north on Route 3. He's two miles south of Jonesboro. We're in pursuit. Port radio, be advised that the chase has just passed me at the intersection of Spring and Main, going northbound. I'll be following in behind the narcotic agent car.
Loose, we gotta get rid of this damn car, quick. Hope you enjoy your new car. Thank you so much. Good. Come back to see it. Okay. Somebody in the office. There. there it is. We paid our debts. Is it all there? You can believe. Well, my hat's off to you. You've done a good job. And for a reward, I got the best thing, the biggest thing that's going to hit this state in a long time. No, as it stands now, we're straight, and I'd like to leave it that way. See, besides that, we lost two of our best friends. We'll all be next. It's up to you all, but this will put you in retirement. Jim Elliott is heading this up, not Joe King. There won't be no mess ups on this job. We're still a little shaky. We're gonna go get a drink. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Here's Big Jim's phone number. Give him a call. All right, we'll call him and see what he says about it. But as it stands, it don't look like we're gonna to want to do anything. But we'll get back with you. just lost two of our best buddies. Well, I've got a deal I think it'll make you change your mind. What do you say we talk about over a game of pool? I haven't shot pool in 15 years. I don't know if I can put one in the hole or not. But I'll give it a try if you'll rack them up. I 
as you guys well know, Joe King has become a liability to the organization. And Sandy has taken over. Yeah, we know Sandy sitting in the chair the other day after that last load. What's this deal he was telling us about a chance for retirement? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down to the meat of the coconut. I'm bringing in the largest shipment of cocaine and pot this country has ever seen. Well, how much are you bringing in? Ten million dollars worth. What's in it for us? A quarter of a million dollars each. What the hell we got to do for a quarter million dollars? I've got to have a ground support unit that I can count on. I've got to have a 2,500 foot runway cut up there in Polk County on the top of Treat Mountain. And I've got to have five two-ton trucks waiting on me when I get in. Well, that don't sound too hard. There's a catch to it. There usually is. I've got to have it in three days. Why three days? The deal has already been made in Columbia. I've got to deliver. Now that plane will go 4,000 miles nonstop. When I get back from Columbia, I've got to have that runway there or it's my ass. A quarter million dollars says that runway will be there. Then looks oh. like we've got a deal, let's drink to it. And in the morning, y'all go over to Sandy's, get all the details, pick up the land location, Get your front money and move out with it. Because you can bet your sweet bippy I'm going to be there Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. Sound good to me. Okay. We have a hell of a load on this thing with 157 bales. Yeah, it was like taking candy from a baby. But we're going to be in trouble being two hours ahead of schedule. Well, we're back on airspeed all we can stand. Well, Polk County is just ahead. gonna get ready. Can't you work no faster? Damn, the tractor's doing all it can. Well, let's keep working from west to east and we'll see if we can get them all we can. That's all I know to do. Okay. Damn, here they come now. They're two hours ahead of schedule. Man, we never will get done. Get that tractor out of here. Y'all get ready to pick up the pieces. Stand the pieces, get the pot.
Boss, we had some bad luck. Now what? We got the junk loaded, but we couldn't get the plane out. Screw up, screw up. That's all you guys do. Two, where's your other truck? Well, hopefully we'll be in back of there. I tell you, if that other truck don't show up, you ain't getting a dime and you ain't getting a dime. We're certainly going to need our money. Boss, we're going to go back and look for that missing truck. You better call me at the office now. SSA has just learned that a large Hertz truck loaded down with pot was halted by police. The driver and another man are being held for investigation after that suspicious truck traveling at a high speed ran a red light near Atlanta. At approximately the same time, a large number of police officers converged on a huge four-engine C-54 aircraft that has just made a miraculous landing high atop Treat Mountain in Polk County. The incredible landing was accomplished by a rough-cut 800-foot runway hastily carved out of a thickly wooded area. Investigated police quickly determined the big C-54 aircraft had successfully delivered a huge load of pot. And in fact, the two men arrested in that rental truck were transporting the plane's content when they were apprehended near Atlanta. Federal authorities seized the aircraft and stated that due to the impossible task of removing the plane from the mountaintop, an auction will be held, and the plane will go to the highest bidder, which in fact brings us to the big question. How in the hell will they get it off that mountaintop? There's no way they're going to fly it out. Pull over, Roos. Let's call Jim. Damn it. This is news, man. You heard the news? Man, we ain't gonna get no money out of nothing. They got the truck. We're gonna have to do something in a hurry. Yeah, okay. Camp's parking lot an hour. We'll be there. Okay. Well, guys, we've had some bad luck. Looks like uh, bad luck just comes our way. But Sandy's got over a million dollars of ours over in his safe, in his office, and I know the whole floor plan. He's also got a couple of bad dogs, too. How do we get around them? Not to mention that big old guard that's always walking around the house and yard. I got the answer for all that. Here's the plan. Here's what we'll do. I'm telling you, I mean something. That's what I'm paying for. I want a mean. Can you put him in the car for me? Yeah. Hey, Ouch, open no. that door and let this mean song we're going in here. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, no. Let's get out of here.
came by to see Sandy. Sandy's gone. You ought to call before you come out. Whoop that butt up down here, Sandy. Whoop that. Everybody, what do you see? Let's get that damn thing. Hey, I'm going to hold that dog. Oh, good, everybody. Oh, good, everybody. Oh, good, everybody. Hey, y'all, come get this damn dog. Get that dog. Go tear my leg off. Ham Bone, you keep that dog busy. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Hey, you leave that damn dog, please! What the hell are you doing? Don't leave me that damn dog! Don't you get that damn dog! What's wrong with you? Leave me that dog, Bill! What's wrong with you? Ask the reefer over here Don't you cry, my honey dear I'll be back soon with wind And your loving arms again But for now, I gotta go Cause this stand Just a few more halls get through. 